Week one in the NFL never disappoints. We had some wild finishes, kickers bleep themselves, big names get hurt, and of course some upsets, which causes fans and social media to overreact. So we've got New York Post Steve Serby on the line so he can help make sense of some of the NFL's biggest overreactions. Now, Serby, I'm going to give you a statement, and you let us know if it is what it is or if it's an overreaction and why. You ready to go, my man? Let's go. And go big with it, too, because social media is going crazy right now. All right. What else is new? <laughs> Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers have won eight out of 11 NFC North titles, but they got spanked by the Vikings. A. Raj is no longer the king of the North. Uh, that's an overreaction. Look, he misses Devontae Adams, who went off against the Chargers on Sunday, but never sell Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur short. I do think the Vikings are a playoff team, but Aaron Rodgers will figure it out. He's been two-time two defending MVP. Don't bet against Aaron Rodgers. If he hits us with the R-E-L-A-X, relax. That means he's locked in. You're right. I, he's going to take some ayahuasca, come back week two even stronger. All right, next you, one. You take that too, right? Yeah. No, nah, I'm taking big Bengay for the, the way my knees feel after my short little playing career. Uh, Dak Prescott is out for 68 weeks. The Cowboys will not make the playoffs. That's not an overreaction. The Cowboys are dead. I don't know if Jerry Jones is going to make the 49ers an offer they can't refuse for Jimmy Garoppolo, but they're done. They're cooked. They lost Tyron Smith, their left tackle. Now they've got Cooper Rush playing quarterback. Good luck with that. Amari Cooper is in Cleveland. Michael Gallup isn't healthy yet. Boy, Jerry, it's going to be a long year for Jerry. Well, in that case, does Jerry Jones make an offer that he can't refuse for Jimmy Garoppolo? Will we see Jimmy G take reps as a Cowboys starting point at some, at some point this season? Well, it wouldn't surprise me because Jerry Jones is desperate to get back to the Super Bowl. He can't even get to the NFC Championship game anymore. I think that uh, Mike McCarthy will be in serious trouble he will pay the price, and here's not an overreaction. Sean Payton will be the next coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Ooh, ooh starting it. I wasn't even on the list, but I like how you're starting that. Nice and early. All right, let's go to some of our New York teams. The Jets will bench Joe Flacco for Mike White before the Zach Wilson comes back week four. Now, someone told me that's trending on Twitter, and I see that it is, but give me a break. I mean, Mike White... <laughs> Mike White is a nice quarterback who had one moment in the sun against the Bengals last year, threw for 405 yards and three touchdowns. But there's a reason Joe Flacco is the backup. He gives the huddle and the team a sense of calm and comfort and security, and he can still throw the ball. The problem, of course, as we know, is he's a statue back there, an anachronism in this modern-day NFL where mobile quarterbacks are necessary, except for Tom Brady, of course. But uh, Flacco, three court, in the third quarter of opening day, Jet fans are calling for Mike White. Give me a break. Come on. Mike White's a nice the, – the, the team loves him. The players love him. But they're also very fond of Joe Flacco, and they believe in Joe Flacco. And I, I think it's folly to even consider Mike White in place of Joe Flacco. You hear that, Twitter GMs? Serby said it's folly. All right, last but not least, let's end with the Giants. Saquon Barkley had over 190 total yards of touchdowns in the two-point conversion. Is Saquon Barkley back? Oh, yeah, he's back all right, and I hope he is for his sake and for the sake of Giant fans. The guy's been through so much. 25 years old, it's going to be interesting after the season if he continues uh, to play like this, uh, whether the Giants will – sign him to a big multi-year extension, you know, the way running backs are in this league. And, uh, and his history shows that it's a risky proposition. But he caught six passes yesterday. I still think he's going to catch 80 to 90 balls. Mm. Use as a weapon in the passing game will only help Daniel Jones. And, yes, yeah, Saquon is back. And, and New York Giant fans – should be thrilled that he is because he's been through so much. And look, he looked like a player yesterday that was touched by the hand of God 
to quote a former general manager, a gold jacket guy. That's the kind of player he is when healthy. So keep going, Saquon. Back to looking generational again. And Mike, I mean, and, and Servi, you know we're going to get more social media folly and overreaction. So we got to do this every week, my man. We'll do it every week. My pleasure. We'll t- even talk about your career. <laughs> That's an overreaction. Is that is that that's trending on Twitter too? I think. I think the Giants want me at receiver. Bring Brandon London back at receiver is trending right now. Overreaction or no? The Giants could do a lot worse than Brandon <laughs> London. I'll take it. Thanks, Steve.